What's going on, Sartorialist? Welcome back to the Halsey Style. Today, what we are going to be discussing is how to wear an iconic sportswear garment, a staple of Ivy League style, a preppy pullover. I am, of course, talking about the cricket or tennis sweater. I'm going to be giving you guys three ways to style the cricket sweater in hopes to inspire your own outfits. Let's get into it. So I finally got around to purchasing a cricket sweater. I had been searching for a cricket sweater for just over two years. But the issue that I kept running into is that most menswear companies like J Press, Uncommon Man, or Bergen Berg offer their cricket sweater from anywhere between $300 and $500. And for knitwear, that was just outside of my budget. But thankfully, once again, for peons like me, and you, Spear and McKay saved us once again this season. They offered a cricket sweater for $98. As soon as the cricket sweater became available on their website, I swiftly made a purchase. And when the package arrived, I took pictures of the sweater and posted them in my stories on Instagram. And a lot of men responded by saying, Barry, that sweater looks amazing, but I have no idea how I would wear something like that. And so I thought it would be a good idea to create a video featuring a handful of outfits that use the cricket sweater to serve as inspiration. But the wonderful thing is that a cricket sweater is such a beautiful garment that it can often stand alone. It has so many gorgeous features. It has a deep v-neck with stripes along it, in this case red and white, but sometimes you'll see something like green and blue. And also it has the stripes down at the bottom of the sweater. It also has a cable knit. So it has enough features that you can wear it on its own. That said, you can wear it with a tie and you can also use it to layer your outfits. But let's take a look at my first outfit. Here I am wearing the Cricut sweater very casually. I'm wearing it over the top of a blue knitted polo, which I also purchased from Spear McKay. I have it buttoned up to the top to give it an air tie, but needless to say, you do not have to wear your polo that way. Some men like to wear the top button unclasped, others like to wear it with no buttons clasped with the collar over the top of the sweater. Once again, needless to say, that's entirely up to you. In keeping with the casual air, I added on a pair of high-rise Savelge denim that I had custom made from Colero, and then I rolled up the bottom of the jeans and added on white socks and white sneakers. This, of course, is adding to the casual air, but it's also fitting in that a cricket sweater is a sportswear garment and it pairs really nicely in my opinion with sneakers. In the second outfit, I have dressed up the cricket sweater considerably. I'm wearing it over the top of an off-white Oxford button-down shirt, which I also purchased, once again, from Spear and McKay. And I've added on a red, white, and blue side reel stripe tie, which I got from Brooke Brothers. I am in keeping with the more formal air that I'm trying to achieve have replaced the five pocket denim with a pair of gray denim high rise Hollywood top trousers, which I purchased from Colorado. That being said, I think that you guys could still achieve this look if you just use a pair of high rise gray flannel trousers. I think that that would still look really good. And in keeping with the Ivy League style look, I've decided to keep the white socks, but to exchange the white sneakers for black loafers. In this third outfit, I am wearing the cricket sweater primarily as a layering piece. I've kept the off-white Oxford button-down shirt and the red, white, and blue striped tie, but I've added over the top of a cricket sweater a navy hop sack sport coat. And in lieu of the gray Hollywood top trousers that I got from Colorado, I have added in to make it, once again, a bit more formal, a pair of high-rise cream cotton trousers that I got from Spear McKay. And in keeping with the Ivy League style, as most people are trying to achieve when they do wear a cricket sweater, I have kept the white socks and the black loafers. So there you have it, Sartorialist. There are three ways to style a cricket sweater. Let me know in the comments down below which of these outfits you most liked or how you yourself would style a cricket sweater. 
Also, if you would like to purchase this Cricut sweater or any other garment from Spear and McKay, and you would like to receive 20% off if it's your first order, you can use this referral code here at checkout. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this content, hit that like button, smash subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be informed when I drop more videos on the Holsey style. Until next time, guys. Thank you.